Morning folks, Christmas morning. So I uh, thought I would do a quick unboxing here this morning for things get too crazy around here. Um, it's a game I got several years back now. I can't exactly remember when. And um, never got to it. I took the cellophane off, piddled around with the rules, but never really got to it because I was in, in um, at that point in my life, I was really into ASL and um, trying to get that system down. But this was given to me because it is one of my favorite time per periods in the Granada, the fall of Muslim Spain. Um, the word there, Muslim, I always use that. Uh, well, in Spanish, obviously, it's Muslimin. Muslimin, but in English, I always use Muslim. And uh, until a few years ago, people started correcting me. Um, around 2014, I was really seeing it's Muslim. I said I used to show them pictures of uh, or <laughs> YouTube videos of Muhammad, Muhammad Ali calling himself a Muslim. I said if he says he's a Muslim, then I think it can be <laughs> Muslim can be okay. But uh, yeah, so that's thought that was interesting. It's a, a game done by Rob Markham and. Um, Zelda Market has been put out by Avalanche Press. You know, great conquista. Let's see what it say about it back here. In 1481, Ferdinand and yeah, Fernando and Segundo and Isabella began their final attempt to, well, to wipe out the Muslim Kingdom of Granada in southern Spain. After 11 years of fierce fighting, they finally completed the Recon La Reconquista and forged a united, I want to say un united Spain. Yeah, Spain, the Iberian Peninsula, in fact, was never truly united until, still really not totally united. I guess it was united in the sense that, um, the kingdoms, Aragon and Castile. But, um, yeah, um, that whole time period, that close to 800 years, forges a, uh, a Spain, forges in their history, a lot of their, what, they, what they've uh, come to be after that uh, is due to La Reconquista, which took a very short amount of time, but was a long time at coming out, and yeah, in uh, 1481 it began, and then the famous year 1492, Fernando concluded dri driving out um, the last Muslim immigrant. Uh, immigrant, emirate. I've been watching too much modern news or something. Emirate, of which was Granada. So we got a couple of dots here. Couple D10 there, uh, D10 system obviously. Um, I like using D10 in war games though. So I really thought that Danvers and especially had uh, really benefited from uh, using D10. Setting up the game sequence of play. Let's look at sequence of play. Rule book. Actually, nice looking rule book. Uh, it's not going to speak to the. Well, actually. I like the. It, I think this is more in a more narrative style. I prefer that. I don't know why. I prefer a narrative style to the 4.2 point. I, I don't know. It's just. Um, I think the way people's minds work. You know, some people prefer the the, the old Avalon Hill slash FPI style, and then some people like me prefer the 11 page rule book look like prefer the uh, narrative style as a uh, damn version rules um, you always use the narrative format I just I just liked it components all right we're looking at the components we don't need to look at that sequence of play let's look at it there are two types of there are two types of turns in Granada campaign seasons and winter lulls each game year includes a varying number of campaign seasons followed by a winter lull huh. each season is divided into a series of phases during which 
specific actions are performed. When all phases are concluded, the season ends. The season marker is moved one space to the right. Okay, that's, yeah, it is more narrative. You're almost going to have to play through it while you're reading this or setting it up while you're reading that. But let's, 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 let's look at the map. That, Huge map, but a nice map, nice mountain. Point to point map. <laughs> You're going to be the Muslim. Yeah. The crescents there. All right. Should be an interesting game. Hmm. See, you got some sea areas. One to four, so I guess you're gonna come to some. Uh, North Africa is not in it, so I'm assuming nobody's gonna be coming across from North Africa. Let's look at the counters. What is that? Half inch counters. It's the features. There, yeah, there's some ship counters. There's not, they're not battling counters at all. We got some siege machines. Hmm. You know, just looking at the components, I'm not sure what to make of it until I get into the game. Uh, this is going to be on a back burner, I guess. I do love anything set in Spain and uh, in the time period. Just, it's just uh, interesting. Very interesting. Very, very cool. What else we get in this box here? Oh, these are some tables. Campaign season chart. Huh. Moorish castle points control. Yeah, okay. So that's uh, typical. What castles the Moorish control? Moorish player card. Okay. Year season Spanish player card. All right. Hmm. This is uh, that's just a graphic there, but that's the game. This is gonna be um, just that last campaign. Um, Fernando, it's a big it's, uh, to rid um, <laughs> to rid. The Iberian Peninsula of the last um, Muslim emir emirate, the Emirate of Granada. So, very interesting, um, very interesting time period. I, pre I you know, a lot of times I prefer something a little earlier. I prefer um, El Cid, something El Cid. That's uh, that you can make a whole game on uh, <laughs> El Cid, you know. Um, you know, you had some of those cool things happen in the time period, you know. Just Sid fought for either side, de depending on <laughs> on what circumstances it was. Just a really interesting period. Uh, and looks like an interesting game, yeah. Um, again, had it for a long time, not played it, but there it is. Granada. Two-player game should be, um... Yeah, I would. I like these. I, I would like, really and truly. I think I would prefer to be the Muslim side just to see, if. How if the how aggressive, the Spanish have to be to get me out of there. That would be an interesting. That's. Always an interesting part of the, these kind of games, you know. For me, um, I like trying to make somebody expel me um, so there it is so all right merry christmas people happy holidays y'all have a great day have a great day see you soon bye bye